This is like a miniature version of our command center. Cheryl Osborne, the manager of emergency management at Torrance Memorial Medical Center, says her team has been planning for the worst of what El Nino may bring. The system that we use is called Incident Command System for Hospitals, or HICS. And this is a command structure that's also used by first responders and also our other community leaders. And it allows the staff in the command center to take on roles based on the command structure. The emergency preparedness team here at Torrance Memorial Medical Center say it's the first time they've prepared a plan for El Nino. With 4,000 employees staffed at this hospital, everyone is trained with ongoing disaster response education so they can be ready when El Nino emergencies like heavy flooding, traffic accidents, and power outages can cause masses to rush to this type of facility. Things like making sure that the facility is safe and that our generators were up to date and um, just making sure, again, that staff is prepared. Osborne says communication is key, and that's why the first step they took was planning an awareness campaign that educated employees on how they should be prepared at home and at the hospital. All users email blast out to all of our staff, reminding them to have water emergency supplies in their cars, you know, have out of state contacts in case the phone lines are interrupted or overloaded. And if the power goes out, they should have alternative means of power at home. And with quick mobilization essential to an emergency plan, the current hospital space can cater to more people during an emergency than what meets the eye. The hospital is a 400 plus bed hospital. So um, in the event of a state declared emergencies, those beds will be able to expand to care for more patients. The emergency management committee, which meets 10 times out of the year, goes over their triage system, which helps diagnose patients based on the severity of their conditions. Every disaster is an emergency and every emer emergency has the potential to be a disaster. So while El Nino is not a top priority, the command center that would um, coordinate the response would use the same management system. Most recently, FEMA urged hospitals to make sure they have areas of shelter in place or evacuation protocols. The probability of the evacuation would actually be very low, but if there was an evacuation, it would start horizontally from one safety zone to the next safety zone before moving vertically down to the lowest part of the building before finally moving out of the building. So as a community, and not just Torrance, but Lawndale and the ones close by, we get together and talk about what our plans are and we kind of borrow off each other's plans and really can improve or add to our own plans right there. So it's always a community event.